right, and hello and welcome into Mac Hummond Stadium as we get ready for today's MVCC Game of the Week for week number six as the three and two Valley View Spartans all in white will take on the two and three Oakwood Lumberjacks. We're going to have a little bit of rain as we get started this morning. Oh, yeah, like Valley View or Oakland won the toss and deferred to the second half. So Valley View will get the ball first to start this game. Looks like you'll have number three, Brody Hopkins, number 10, Owen Neal back to return this kick for the Spartans. You have number 78, Lucas Stroud, kicking for the Lumberjacks. And this one is fielded at about the 12 with a slip by Neil. And Neil gets out across the 20. Maybe out to about the 25. You can see the Valley View Spartans on the field first, led by quarterback. Looks like number 15 will be back there. Brody Gibbs. Fall and it is aired out. Pass completed to Brody Hopkins. And that one is going to be a score for the Valley View Spartans on their first play from scrimmage. Spartans wasting little time going to the air. You're going to see Braden Bell on to attempt the extra point with number nine, Anthony Valenti, holding. Kick is up, and extra point is. Good. And Valley View on the first play from scrimmage scores on an 80 yard plus touchdown pass from Brody Gibbs to Brody Hopkins. So now we're going to see the Lumberjacks offense come onto the field next. Every single kick. Who will be led by quarterback Zach Lutt, junior quarterback Zach Lutt, who has 65% completion on the year, five touchdowns to one interception, 540 yards. <laughs> on the season. And then they're going to have a heavy dose of Sawyer, Morgan, and Carson Dinkler <laughs> out of the backfield. Now you're going to have number six, Cash Wallet. On the kickoff here for the Spartans. Actually, there's number five, Braden Bell. Bell boots that one. Trailing towards the sideline. Oakwood will pick it up at about the five. And get tackled at about the. Gets out past the 20. Yeah. And that is where Oakwood will start this drive at about the 25. Yeah. 
to when you look at this official link back here, we'll do this, and that's where we start. Jackson and Toby back. Line up a shotgun low snap. Toby's going to take this one out of the backfield himself. Gives a little stiff arm. Cuts up field and is knocked out of bounds by number four, Case Kazarek, but not after a big pickup and a first down. Go, you're good. Go, you're good. Please, I'll take all the way. After a gain of about 12. But I saw him give it a stop to Is the um, down to go? Yeah, we're start the far now. Yeah. And that's uh, what I'm saying again, the down to go clock work. Because yeah. when I was doing a JV a few weeks ago, it was more. Yeah, we fixed everything on the board, so I'm not actually sure why it's not. Toby. Hey guys, you can't stand up. Yeah. 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 I don't care. Now yeah. it's going to be a handoff and another big run here for the Lumberjacks on first down. And that one will. Be blown dead. Holding coming back. Holding against the lumberjacks. So that will make it first. First down now back out to the thirty three. So first and about 23. So he races. Two big runs. Receiver in motion. Toby hands it off. And a nice wrap up tackle in the backfield. Looks like you have a tackle by. Sean Patterson and Boaz Flinner. Why is it 40 seconds for cell phone? It's really 40 for everything except for. It's really 40 except for everything you can see down there. It is 40 for all the cell phone? Yeah, 40 except for those. Toby and Shotgun formation. Lou Ball is. Bad snap and maybe another loss of two on the play. Make it third down in a mile. How'd you get power back up here last night? Or this morning? Most of the they got the power lines fixed. It's 6 point this morning. Uh, receivers to two to the top, one down at the bottom for Toby. Two step drop, going to throw a quick wide receiver screen out, and that one might have lost a couple of others. Still on his feet and dragging defenders up. That was a completion to Michael Wosty. And now Oakwood will send out the punting team. It looks like Toby will be the punter as well. And you're going to have Anthony Valenti and Cassin Foley. High snap. Berryman almost blocks that one. Valenti picked up at the 34 and knocked out at about the 40. And that is where Valley View will start their second possession. So we'll take a quick look at the weather. 65 degrees outside with wind. Six miles an hour east out of the southeast. With gusts up to about 9 to 10 miles an hour. 
Let's see. Gibbs. Running back slipped and ends up turning into a first down. When they kick it, it's um. It's live, and then once they're tackled, it's They're going to say it's a gain of eight. For that run yeah. by Brody Hopkins. Valente in motion. Fumble snap. Gibbs picks it up and is thrown down in the backfield by number 55, Aiden Oaks. That's a, that will make it third, about 15 now. After the bobbled snap. Gibbs with Smith to his left. Gibbs going to throw a quick out pass. A hook and lateral out of bounds. Valenti with the pass and then a fumble backwards, and they'll actually lose about a yard or two on the play. The Lions, yeah. Boise State ran it when they beat Oklahoma. Did they? Yeah. That's going to send out Anthony Valenti to punt. Snap. Good low punt. Fielded by Carson Dinkler. Oakwood. We'll get their second shot at it. They're looking to try to answer Valley View's one play, one touchdown drive earlier. Sorry, not three. Sorry, crap. My punt number twenty was returned. You see Toby come into the screen with the play call from the sideline. Toby fakes the handoff. Going to keep it himself. Cuts up field. Maybe gains two on the play. Tackled by Wyatt Burkett. Second and eight. Receiver in motion. Toby gonna keep it. Pitches it backwards. And it is recovered by the Lumberjacks. Recovered by number 14, Michael Wosty. That is going to be about a loss of four. Toby hands it off to Dinkler, tackled by Cesar Berryman, and that's going to be Quick three and out for the Lumberjacks. So pick up a four back to, or make it a fourth and eight. But that's going to send on the punt formation again for the Lumberjacks. Toby on the punt. 
More spinning kick, fair caught, and actually picked up by Valenti. Valley View will start their third drive at the 39. Four oh nine left here in the first quarter of our MVCC game of the week for week number six. Valley leading seven to nothing over the Oakwood Lumberjacks. It's gonna be a handoff to Valenti on an end around. Valenti has the hole, gets to the outside, knocked out of bounds. Hard hit there out of bounds, but enough to put the Spartans across midfield. That's a handoff to Smith with the carry. And then a late flag comes in. Tackled by Ivan Turk. Personal foul against Oakwood. Moving 15 yards further down the field. He's going to move it down to the 24. Hopkins in motion. Smith gets the carry. Smith wrapped up in the back or across the line of scrimmage and tackled by number 55, Aiden Oaks. It'll be second in about eight. Valenti in motion gets the carry. Didn't make it the third and short after the Valenti carry. Tackled by Michael Eckert of the Lumberjacks. You're fine. He spun on that before he even got placed. Third and about three. Hey, you No. Valenti in motion. Smith gets the handing carry out of the backfield. And he will be stopped by Oaks and Dinkler. And Looks like he will be. This should be a big fourth down here for both sides. Rain starting to come down a little bit harder. Play clock is at 15. And then Valenti and Smith in the backfield. High snap. Valenti falls on it back at about the 35, 36. And that's going to be a costly turnover for the Spartans. And now Oakwood will have decent starting field position at the 31. See if Oakwood can answer after the Valley View turnover on downs. Toby gonna take the snap run right up the middle. 
from maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, actually might have lost a yard. Does get to the line of scrimmage. See how wide he is right here? Yes. I would crash down with our big boy right here and then kick out on the full block and then run right there to see him. Toby fakes the throw, gonna run up the middle again. And maybe gets past the line of scrimmage for about a gain of maybe two. See what I'm saying, man? Yes. Look how wide he's playing. I would crash down and kick out and just try to hit there. Look at this line. Look at the line right here. Look at this. Big third down play. And Oakwood will not have to hike it if they don't want to. One time. And they will not. Is there time on the quarter here? I think they keep it 60 seconds. And that is how the first quarter will end. Valley View leading 7 0 in our MVCC game of the week for week number six. It will be third and eight for Lumberjacks coming out of the quarter change. Valley View leading 7 0 in our MVCC game of the week. For week number six, brought to you by Bumble Roofing and Fricker's Restaurants. Toby gets to the edge. Toby will be sacked by number seven. That is. Malik Jocko. And that will make it a loss of about three. And that will bring up fourth down for the Lumberjacks. 20 and 11 are back this time. Toby set the punt. And he's going to punt off to Owen Neal or Gavin Phillips. Punt trails to the sideline. And we'll go out of bounds. At the 41. So Valley will take over. After the Oakwood punt. Valenti in motion. Valenti going to be the lead block for Smith. And then you're, he's going to be tackled by Finn McCarthy. Something with Brody Hopkins. Hopkins in motion is going to get the end around carry here. Pushed out of bounds. So pickup of about three. on the play. That's going to be a run by Brody Gibbs. 
and flags will stop the play and it will be an area of holding. Holding against Valley View and that will back him up. Erase the first down gain by Gibbs. That'll take it back to about the 36. So it'll be third and long here for the Spartans. Might even see a pass from Brody Gibbs in the rain. Gibbs going to the middle of the field and is too far in front of Valenti. Or no, sorry, actually intended to. Number three, Hopkins. A fourth down now. Yeah, I don't know why. I had I had first and ten. Hunt gets away, and Valley View will, or Oak will get out of the way, let it roll, and it'll be down at the 20. And so Oak will take over after the punt, 9.54. Five left here in the first half in a rain soaked week six around the Miami Valley. Take a look at the weather here at Mac Cummins Stadium 65 degrees, winds blowing south southeast at nine miles an hour. Toby, low snap on the ground. He's going to pick it up and run, and he'll lose about two on the play. Looks like Luca Carriage might have had the tackle, and Parker McKenzie. Another low snap. Toby's going to lob it out in front, and it is incomplete. Intended to number 13, Noah Taylor. It'll be third and 11 for Oakwood. Toby fakes a pump fake in the middle of the field. It's hauled in and a first down. Caught by Taylor. Tackled by Case Kazarek. Taylor slow to get up now walking to the sideline holding his midsection. Oakwood completes its first pass of the game. Low snap again, hands off. Gets to maybe the line of scrimmage. That is number three, Sawyer Morgan. Tackled by Malik Jocko. Toby going to the far side, and it is incomplete intended to Brady Toby. 
one. Going to his younger brother. It'll be third and ten. Another low snap. Toby picks it up off the ground. High Toby steps out of one tackle, tackle, but doesn't get out that. of that one. Tackled by Berryman in the backfield for about a loss of four. Ball's going back to the 20. Toby back to punt for the Lumberjacks. High snap. Kick trailing towards the sideline. Fielded by by Case and Foley ball looked like it might have come out. Tackle by Aiden Oaks and Carson Dinkler, and a flag came in during the play. It'll be against the Spartans, so that'll back them up. So that penalty will move it back to the 39. Penalty was a block in the back against the Spartans. They hand off to Valenti on an end around. Valenti gets to the edge. Valenti will have a first down before he is tackled to, at, at midfield. Tackled by 15. Tackled by Grant Fascio. Pick up both 11 on that run by Valenti. Moves the Spartans out to midfield. Rain's starting to come down a little bit harder. It's going to be a carry with Gibbs on the keeper. Gibbs has a hold of the outside. And it'll be tackled inside the 20. 11 and 20. Tackled on the play by Brady Toby and Jackson Toby. To the Take it down inside the 20. Into the red zone. And Gibbs is down on the field. He lives over there now between his younger one playing Pee Wee and his older one playing. Gibbs got up quickly. After the big run by Gibbs, setting him up inside the red zone. High snap goes, the handoff goes to Smith. Smith trying to bounce outside and slips. I'm going to give that to uh, 21. Tinkler might have got a, a hand on his foot. Pick up a four on that play. Valenti will get the carry. Valenti 
bounces out, out to the outside. He'll have enough for a first down. Tackled by Brady to me. It'll be first and goal at about the five. Smith gets the carry, waits for a second to see if a hole develop, and does not. Maybe gets a pickup of two. Dinkler with another tackle. Along with Woosty as well. Valenti comes into the backfield, gets it out to the outside, flushed out, and he is in. From three yards out, Valenti. Send Bell out to kick his second extra point of the game. Snaps good, holds good. Kick is up, and it is good. 4.29 left here in the first half. Valley View leads 14 to nothing over the Oakwood Lumberjacks. It's going to send yeah. Bell back out, said, kick off for the third good. time. <laughs> that one will down and die right at the 16 by Toby. Toby gets across the 30. Toby going to go under center. Hand off to Morgan. Tackled on the play by Owen Neal for about a pickup of three, maybe four on the play. See Matt King there, the right ear screen, the head coach for the Valley View Spartans. Directing play. Valenti, or Toby hands off to Morgan again. Morgan trying to break it outside. Maybe gets a gain of one on the play. Tackled by Berryman and... Flannery. It's going to make it third and five here for the Lumberjacks, trying to get something going before halftime. Going to hand off to Morgan. Morgan tackled in the backfield with a tackle for loss by Sean Patterson. And Valley View is going to call a timeout. Their first timeout of the half.
So Toby will be in to punt again for the Lumberjacks. Looks like Gavin Phillips and Cason Foley back to return for the Spartans. That is a low snap or low kick. And we'll get down oh, at about the 39, 38-yard line. As well, Valley View will start what could be the last drive before halftime. Gibbs fakes the handoff to Valenti. Rolling out to the right. Throwing down the field. And it is incomplete. Intended to number six, Cash Wallet. Should be handoff to Valenti. Valenti gets to the outside and might have been knocked out of bounds by number 11, Brody Toby. Brady Toby. Quick third down here for the Spartans. Gibbs, two-step drop, going to roll to the right. Gibbs steps up, evades one tackle. He's going to run for it, and he will be stopped short. Ref stop play immediately. Well, if you called the timeout, and that will that was enough for a first down. Yeah, he was pointing forward. Valley View calls their second timeout of the half, leading fourteen to nothing. Two eighteen left here in the first half of our MVCC game of the week for week number six. Brought to you by. Bumble roofing and frickers. The first ten for the Spartans at the forty eight. See what King drew up in the huddle. It's going to be a run by Gibbs. Might have slipped. And not being able to plan his foot, maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Minute 50 left and counting here in the first half. Gibbs takes it, two-step drop, throws it to the sideline, and it is hauled in by number three, Brody Hopkins. Tackled by Dinkler of the Lumberjacks, but a huge 
play through the air. First and goal. Flag comes in, false start against the Lumber or Spartans. I'll back the Spartans up five yards. Valenti in motion. He's going to get the carry. And it'll be chased out of bounds. At about the 10. Tackled by Finn McCarty. So pick up a five. Be second and goal from the 10. Valenti in motion. Oh no, sorry, that was Hopkins. Play blown dead. False start against the Spartans. Second and goal from the 15 now. Smith beside. Valenti's going to get the handoff again out of the motion. That'll be tackled by Michael Wosty. Pick up a four. Third and goal from the 11. Hopkins in motion. Gibbs back to pass. Go into the end zone. It is incomplete. Intended to cash Woolet, and that'll bring up fourth down. Let's see what the Lumber Spartans are going to do, and they're going to send on the field goal unit. This will be about a 20 or 31 yard field goal. Yes, yes. High snap holds good. Kick is up and kick is no good. With a minute five left here in the first half. Missed field goal there by the Spartans. Oakwood, three timeouts and a minute five left. Toby going to go under center, three running backs behind him. He's going to hand off to Morgan. Morgan to pick up of about six or seven.
Toby comes from the sideline with the play call. Up to the line quickly with 28 seconds left. Going to be a handoff. Is any audio working up here? Like, is the boots recording? No. Nothing. Thank you. Is that a season? Looks like a loss of two. Tackled by Caesar Berryman. And that one looks like it is going to do it. For the end of our first half of our MVCC Game of the Week for week number six, the Spartans leading the Lumberjacks 14 to nothing. And we will be back for the second half of our MVCC Game of the Week. Brought to you by Bumble Roofing and Frickers. All right, and welcome back inside Mac Hummin Stadium as we get ready for the second half of our MVCC game of the week. The Lumberjacks are trailing 14 to nothing over or to the Valley View Spartans. As the rain continues to come down here, remnants of tropical storm Helene. It is 68 degrees outside, wind gusting up to 9 to 12 miles an hour with wind speeds at about 6, no, now 8 miles an hour out of the east. Oakwood will get the ball to start the second half of our MVCC game of the week brought to you by Frickers and Bumble. Roofing. First half has been a lot of ground and pound. Kind of expecting what you'd see from rainy games and everything with the rain and the wind. You're going to have Taylor and Dinkler back to return this punt or kickoff. Bell goes for an onside kick. Fielded by Brady Toby at the 39. So, heads up play by Toby to go or watch the ball as it looked like it was an onside kick. Just put him at the four. Yeah, Brady. Best starting field position for the Lumberjacks. In the game, going to be a quick pass, incomplete, in and out of the hands of Michael Wosty. It'll be second and ten. We'll be looking to the sideline for instructions. Toby going to throw it out to Wosey. There he completes it. And he'll get across the 45. It'll make it third and manageable. The third and about four. Low snap. Toby's going to keep this one. And he'll lose about a yard on the play. Tackle there for the Spartans. Sean Patterson and Cesar Berryman. Now fourth down and 
Oakwood going to send out the punt team. Nine. Looks like you're going to have Anthony Valenti and Kaysen Foley back to return Toby's punt. Nice kick trailing towards the sideline. Loose ball picked up. And down at the 30, Oakwood almost came up with it after Foley slipped and kind of touched it and went out of bounds. Up in shotgun, Valenti and Smith flank each side. It's going to be a handoff to Valenti. Valenti cuts up field. Valenti's at the 40. Valenti's at the 50. Nobody's going to catch him, and Valenti's going to have a touchdown run from 70 no yards out. No flags. Valenti's longest run of the season, and that will put him up to eight rushing touchdowns on the gate on the season. Kick is up and no good. So the score will stay 20 to nothing in favor of the Valley View Spartans. 10 17 left here in the third quarter. Coach Oakwood coaching staff. Ready for the rain. Dinkler and Taylor back to return the kick again. This one off. A high kick, middle of the field. Fielded at the 16. There's a hole to the outside and up ended at about the 40 by Berryman. They're going to call him down at the 41 and a half. Taylor goes in motion. Slips in the backfield. Toby's going to keep it. Direct snap up the middle. Toby breaks one tackle and is pushed out of bounds at about the 20 or the 44. Thought he had him out of bounds. He was stopping for a first down. 
Some trickery here, double end around with Taylor. Toby with a block out in front, but nice hard hit open field by Anthony Valenti on Taylor. Nine and 13 on the tag with 13 on the run. Also, Wyatt Burkett. <clears throat> Taylor looks like he comes up a little bit shaky. Double under around, picks up two on the play. <clears throat> Look at second and eight for the Lumberjacks. Toby going to the air, going to the far sideline, incomplete. But a flag comes in late. And let's see, it'll be pass interference, but let's see which one it's going to be. There's hand checking both ways. It'll be pass interference on the defense. Number 20, Gavin Phillips. And Oakwood has reached the furthest they have in the game on the field. Now another, another penalty. Offsides against the Spartans. That'll make it first and five. Toby going to keep this one run right up the middle. And Toby will be close to a first down. Actually, he'll have it by about a yard or two. Jocko and McKenzie with the tackle. Low snap ball scooted to Toby, and that is. That is Morgan with the carry. Toby back to pass. Toby pump fakes, throws the middle of the field, and it is incomplete. Looks like it was intended to number 14, Michael Woste. That's two drops he's had on this drive for the Lumberjacks. Be third and nine. Toby, quick pass out to Woste, and he is hit immediately, maybe gains one on the play. We have Kozarek and Neil, or Foley with the tackle for the Spartans. It's going to be fourth and eight. Oakwood leaving. The offense on the field, and now a timeout called by the Lumberjacks with 7 25 left here in the third quarter. Let's see a shot of the Oakwood cheerleaders.
fix the rain gear? I did. I went inside. I had to take a leak. You don't blame me. I was like, I'll lock them back on. Coming out of the Oakwood timeout. I thought he had him out of bounds and then he stopped the clock for the first down. So I was like, waiting for this guy. Fourth and eight. Toby going to roll to the right. Throws it to the far side. Receiver slips incomplete. And that will be a turnover on downs for the Lumberjacks. Looked like it was intended to Woosty. Now the Spartans will take over. Gibbs back to pass, throwing it to the far side. Incomplete intended to Cash Woolett and Oakwood defender. I think it might have been Dinkler might have got a hand on it. Be second and ten here for the Spartans. Can be a handoff to. And a flag comes in. Valenti on the run. <laughs> I'm sorry, actually, that was Hopkins, Hopkins with the run. We have unnecessary roughness by Michael Wosty for the Lumberjacks. That's going to be a 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. It's going to take it out to the 40. Another flag comes in. All start against the Spartans and back them up five yards. It'll be first and 15 at the 35 here for the Spartans. Gibbs lined up in shotgun formation. Valenti goes in motion across the line. That's going to be a handoff to Smith. Tackled by Finn McCarty. No gain on the play. Gibbs, two-step drop. He's going to tuck it and run. Breaks one tackle, evades another. We'll have the first down across the 50.
Should we go for a few snaps? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. No. Okay. Tackled by Grant Fashio. Oh, he was right by Silver. Yeah. Uh, he was right. It was the sideline. Yeah. Yeah. So, the white hat was yeah. well, I was trying to talk to him. He started with the white hat. It is. So, I might have decided that he was just a white hat. I usually watch the uh, chain crew to see if they get seven. You get a time to get seven. Gibbs back to pass, throws it to Valenti. Valenti spin move off the one tackle. Or Hopkins, sorry. Hopkins breaks another tackle and finally drugged down out of bounds inside the 30. Tackle by number 20. Tackled by Jackson Toby. Another big first down pickup for the Spartans. Valenti in motion, low snap, handoff to Valenti. Cuts back across, dives across. The 25 to about the 23. Mark it at the 21. Back to pass, throws it to the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for number six, Cash Wallet. It's going to make it third and eight. Gibbs back to pass. <laughs> Gonna tuck it and run. Gibbs side steps one. Gets pushed out of bounds at about the. No, let's see where they're marking out. It's gonna be sh short. It's gonna be fourth down. It looks like. Fourth and not even fourth and inch a yard. Valenti's going to join Gibbs and Smith in the backfield. High snap goes to Valenti. Valenti, I don't think he got it. The rest are going to stop. And no, the rest are going to signal no first down. It'll be Oakwood ball. With 412 left here in the third quarter. Especially what 
at least have Tristan lead up through. Yeah. Tell me back in shotgun on this drive. I'm gonna hand off to Morgan, and Morgan is upended by Jocko and Carriage. Taylor in motion. Going to hand it off to Morgan. Tackled by Valenti. Pick up of two on that last play. Make it third and about eight. Toby back to pass, going to the air it out, and it is incomplete. Intended to Taylor, broken up by Anthony Valenti. And Oakwood sends the punt team out there. A quick three and out. I have Valenti and Phillips back to return the punt. High snap, low kick, goes out of bounds at about the 45. Let's see where the ref marks it out, though. The 46. So Valley View will take over after the punt, starting in Oakwood territory. Gibbs throws a quick pass oh, nice. off the ball or off the tip from Valenti, and it goes to Case Cozer, who takes it down to the 20, 30. Flaggles blow the play dead. False start <laughs> against the Spartans. It'll be first and fifteen. Valenti in motion. Smith the carry. Smith will get to about the 32, so a pickup of about three. Toby and Oaks the tackle there for the Lumberjacks. Valenti in motion again to blow the play dead. False start against the 
Spartans. Yeah. Yeah. And Valley View will take a timeout there with one oh one left here in the third quarter. We're gonna take a look here over at the Oakwood cheerleaders. Cameraman braving the conditions. It's starting to warm up a little bit more. 69 degrees. Cloudy. Still raining. Wind gusts. Wind speed at 9. Gusting up to 10 out of the east. A lot calmer and a lot less rain than what it would have been last night playing through the game. As Gibbs back to pass, going to dump it off to Smith. Smith breaks one tackle. Can't break the armhole of Toby. And that will be third down, but it looks like he gets past the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be third and about nine. Gibbs back to pass, going for it all. And Valenti Hopkins had to play defender on that one, knocking it away. It'll be fourth down with 12 seconds left here in the third quarter. And see, Valley View looks like they're going to go for it. As they try to draw the lumberjacks off sides. Gibbs back to pass. Going again for the end zone, and it is intercepted by the six. Blockers out in front for Oakwood, and they get pushed out of bounds at about the 35. Oakwood giving a little spark for the few fans that are still here. It's just the third interception on the year for the Lumberjack defense. And this will be the last play of the third quarter. It'll be a handoff. Maybe gets to the line of scrimmage. That is Dinkler. And that one will do it for the fourth, third quarter. Now a flag comes in late. Fourteen was laying on somebody in the backfield. Our guy stood up and then fourteen flopped. Gotcha. So I did not have to tackle. All right. Mm -hmm. 
rest are huddled up. That'll be a personal foul. Personal foul against the Spartans. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Ball be placed, taken out to midfield. And that is where we will start the fourth quarter. Valley View leading 20 to nothing over the Oakwood Lumberjacks in our MVCC game of the week for week number six. Brought to you by Bumble Roofing and Frickers. Toby's going to keep this one. There's some flag comes in, so and it looks like it might be in the area of holding. 58 on the tackle. Tackled by McKenzie for the Spartans. But it's going to push the Lumberjacks back 10 after that holding penalty. Toby back to pass, fakes, evades one sec, evades another one, gets out of the way of the other one. Toby gets out to about the 48. Toby's going to keep this one. Run up the middle. He'll be close to a first down. Toby will lose about two. So it'll be fourth, fourth and two. Fourth and two, Oakwood staying on the field. Toby's going to keep it. Toby is short. He's got him marked short. Uh, 58 on the tackle. Oh, first down. First nope. down. See the refs. They're going to stop for official Jeez, measurement. Ooh, it looks like it might be 
They have to get to the 40, and it's the nose might be on it, but let's see if it'll be enough as the chain gang comes from across the far side. He's like, I paid for my seat, I can do what I want with it. Here goes the husband. Here comes the security guard. The guy, I'm sure all of you was told what you need to say. He was stubborn. He left. Flying double birds as he's walking down the bleachers. And it will be enough for a first down by the tip of the ball. Well, see him later. Yep. Instead of just saying, all right, I'll sit down. So it'll be first down here for the Lumberjacks at the 40 in the Valley View territory for the third time. False start here. Huh? False start here. Right in front. Oh, yeah, good call. And. The receiver moved. The, they're going to say the, the receiver moved before the lineman came across. That's a false start against the Lumberjacks. Toby with a keeper. Toby will get across the original line of scrimmage and across the 40 to about the 39. So it'll be second and nine. Berryman and Jocko with the tackle for the Spartans. Toby thought about throwing it. Going to roll to the right. And Berryman is going to be there for a sack. Do you not know why Toby did not get rid of it? Completion to Taylor. Fourth and nine. Oakwood staying on the field. Going to throw to Taylor. It is hauled in. And Taylor tackled inside the 10. Toby up to the line quickly, hands it off. No, fakes the handoff to Morgan. Toby keeps it, and Toby is in from nine yards out. Oh. 
Oakwood breaks open the goose egg on the scoreboard. Makes it 20 to 6. And it looks like Oakwood is going to go for two. Toby going to keep it rolled to the right, throws it. Receiver fell down. Looked like it was intended to Brady Toby. Also in the area was Michael Wosty. Seventy-eight. Lucas Stroud, the six-three, three hundred fifteen-pound lineman, on to kick off. Squib up the middle, fielded by at the thirty-five. Fielded by Gavin Phillips. He'd be put he was pushed out of bounds at the 39. Goes to Smith. Smith powers through and will be close to a first down. And I think he has it. Yes. They'll mark him down at the 50. Fans quickly to call out the false start against the Spartans. That's at least their sixth or seventh false start penalty. Gets the carry here. Hopkins trying to get to the edge. Maybe picks up about three on the play. Toby with the tackle. Second and about 12. It's going to be Gibbs going to keep this one. Runs upfield. Knocked out of bounds close to a first down. Pushed out of bounds by Finn McCarty. Jeez. 
and another false start against the Spartans. Gibbs back to pass, throws it to Taylor, incomplete. Sorry, that was intended to Tristan Smith, not Taylor. It's going to make a fourth down. And Valerie looks like they're going to send in the punt team. Low kick. Fielded at about the 12 for Oakwood. One, one on the return, 23 on the tackle. Dinkler with the return. And there's a flag on the field. It looks like it's been blocking the back against the Lumberjacks. So that so that after the penalty, it'll take it to the five yard line. Toby, quick out to Taylor. Tackle goes to Owen Malara. First time calling his name tonight. Pickup of about seven or eight on the play. Toby going to keep that one. Stiff arms, one defender. Breaks another tackle. Hit out of bounds. And a flag comes in. Could not tell along the sidelines if he was already out or not. So that's a personal foul against the Spartans. So 15 yards from the end of the run. We'll put the ball at the 40, it looks like. Toby back to pass, throws it to the far side, and a pitch to Woosty, and he is pushed out of bounds, so it looked like Taylor caught it and then pitched it back. 10 and 13 on the tackle. Sorry, 4 and 13 on the tackle. Pick up of about five or six on the play. Toby fakes the handoff. Toby going to roll to the right. Steps up. Defender slips. Going to the far side. And yeah, it is man. incomplete. Phillips almost had the interception.
Toby looked like a low snap. Be enough for a first down. Oakwood moving into Valley View territory. 3.30 left. In the game, Oakwood trying to move quickly. It's had a constant rain the whole game. Oakwood. Toby back to pass. Toby throws it down middle of the field. It's completed to Taylor. Toby going to keep this one run up the middle. Toby will have the first down. He was tackled by Flannery. Toby going to the far sideline. And it is incomplete intended to Taylor. I think it's second and 10, 250. Left and counting here in the game. in motion. Toby slips, gets rid of it. An incomplete pass. That was not that was not a full pass. He's gonna talk to him. Refs are gonna huddle up. See Oakwood is backing up now. It's going to make it third and third and fifteen. Quick pass over here to Woosty. Woosty has blockers out in front, gets to the original line of scrimmage and knocked out at about the thirty, maybe the twenty-nine. And no flag there. Thought it might have been a late hit. That's going to be fourth and about six. Oakwood calls their first timeout. Fourth and six. Oakwood trying to stay. Alive, okay. have a chance. See the refs huddled.
See, it's still overcasty. Rain coming down since before kickoff. Wind still at the out of the east at eight miles an hour. And Oakwood just got a free five yards, makes it fourth down a little bit better. Encroachment against the defense. And that's going to make it fourth and about one. Morgan's going to come into the backfield. Toby going to keep this one. Toby pitches it out to Morgan. Morgan slips. And it is... A turnover on downs is a loss of one, maybe two on the play. Smith with the carry, Dinkler the tackle. Off to Smith again. off to Hopkins. Hopkins hurdles over one tackler, has the first down. Pushed out of bounds by Toby. And then Spartans are going to line up in victory formation. Another knee or no, one more knee, and that one. will do it. Valley View will win on a Saturday morning 20-6 to six over the Oakwood Lumberjacks in our MVCC Game of the Week for week number six presented by Frickers and Bumble Roofing. The Lumberjacks move to Four and two on the season, and next week they will be at Middletown, Madison. The Lumberjacks fall to two and four and will be at the Brookville Blue Devils next week. We will be out at Miamisburg for the Center of Looks for Miamisburg for week number seven. Signing off for the rest of Miami Valley Communications crew, Jared Bergstrom. We will see you next week.